Hey guys, what's up? I know you didn't think y'all get to see me again, but of course, I'm not going anywhere. We just had a downfall. I was going through a lot of stuff. Just got back in town, um, maybe about three hours ago. <laughs> went to Wild Dostel, went to um, see Phobia at Wild Adventures, you know, had a little bit of fun, got to sightsee, go to the mall, and all that great stuff, you know. That is. Got a new webcam. Y'all like it? So, a lot of y'all was complaining about the definition and you couldn't see me and all that stuff. So, now you can see me, right? Okay. Alright. So, now Kumar's got a new webcam. <clears throat> Told y'all. Oh, that was my Um, just got back in town and somebody hit me up in my inbox about, um, a trans basher and um it's kinda crazy you know what I'm saying I, I just don't understand people these days I don't I don't get it I don't understand why there's so much hate why does it need to be so much hate um I think one I'll give you one good movie you should watch Librium Equilibrium there you go Equilibrium is a good movie Y'all should watch it. Uh, it's got that guy who played in um, American Psycho. Um, he's in it. And it talks about that people were taking dosages of this certain type of stuff. And what it did, it made you not feel. It didn't make you. There was no war. There was no hate. There was no. You didn't have no feeling of expression if you kept taking a shot of this stuff. And if you stop, then you will have feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's a really good movie. I think I should check it out. Again, it's called Equilibrium. And um, I like it. It was a great movie. Um, you really have to watch the whole thing to understand it. But I think a lot of y'all need to get it to watch it. Um, <clears throat> so someone hit me in my inbox. And then I saw my homeboy's video. Uh, Jay, what's up? and a couple other people trans guys videos and it was my I, it had to be something really serious for someone to like really send me this person's like link on there and then they not only sent me the link they sent me the link to the block spot so I seen the block spot of um dirty white boy 67 and uh I seen what she was talking about and um, I don't agree with none of that all that shit that she was trying to make herself sound like she was book smart and all that sound like a crack of shit sorry God please forgive me I'm sorry I'm trying to be saved but this is one time I'm, I'm I really got to so <clears throat> dirty white boy obviously that is a messes up name you can ever give yourself dirty white boy okay you say you're butch, and I see that you're a butch lesbian. Okay, but you talk about FTM so much that you must be either jealous or you feel that trans people are getting more pulled than you are, or that we're taking over. There is no such thing that there is not going to be a whole lot of more butches walking through the world because if you walk in California, there is a hundred and something more butches then you might can tell that there's a lot of trans guys walking through there it's obvious you see more trans guys when they're transitioning process than you do see them as butch women walking around in gay village I'm just gonna put it out there um, a lot of the shit that you were speaking on I think you're scared of trans people I think that you're afraid that trans people are going to wipe you out and that there's not going to be a lot of y'all walking through the world but at what I don't understand is how you can hate on someone who's a part of the same community as you are but yet you want to be a part of this community you hate on people, booksellers and other authors who write about surgeries or procedures that they went through to become the people that they are and another thing, if you don't understand something, <laughs> my mother and my father always say, ask questions. Questions are not, there's no such thing as a stupid question, but there is a such thing as a stupid opinion. 
and there is such thing as a stupid assumption when there's something you don't know nothing about if you have never walked in a trans person's shoes you have never been around a trans person's life or lived in their moments or what they go through mentally as well as physically you can never make a <laughs> any type of assumption about what or why they're doing what they're doing the only assumption you can really make is why you're unhappy and why you're sad and why you are not getting as many women as you're supposed to be getting as you said you want feminine women. But you remind me of the women that actually be in jail that would bend over and take it from another butch woman. Excuse my French, but you know, that's the way I see it. There are a lot of women that probably are into the whole penetration and the whole sucking and licking and all the whatever of female parts. But as trans men, that is not something that we, I mean, we do have hormones, we do go through things. Peer closed. I'm intersex. I go through shit. But it doesn't make me any better than any other trans person. But I do stick up for my community whenever they are taunted, whenever they are bashed. You, my friend, are cyberly bullying trans people. And no offense, what what does that make you? A hypocrite. A, actually, a B-I-T-C-H. My thing is, uh, you probably wear panties. Just because you wear boxers and men draws and men in pants and walk around with a butch shirt does not make you better than any trans person. And I think that the power of the body is you are scared. You are scared that there be nothing left for you to have because other men are taking over. But see, the difference is, it's not that they're taking over, it's just living their lives. But why are you trying to be all up in their life? Why are you trying to, um, trying to understand trans people? You need to try to understand yourself. When you start to learn you, then you can really dictate about somebody else. See, I learn more about myself before I can make any assumptions and any opinions about anybody else's life. And even due to the fact, I don't give my opinions and my assumptions by just seeing what I see. It's what they tell me. See, I'm an educated black mixed man. You may understand I said black mixed man because I am mixed, but I am black too. But... Regardless of me being trans or transgendered or intersex, it's a part of the community. It's a, there's so many parts of a community. That's what makes the world go round. It's not just only about straight people or, or, or trans people trying to be straight. No, it's trying to be completely or be whole or feel content with your canvas. Looking at yourself as a whole individual. Now you sitting up here telling them that they need to be in touch with their feminine side. You need to be in touch with your feminine side. You're a butch woman who tries so hardly to be dominant. But the scary part about it is you can never come as dominant as a trans man or a straight man. And I think that you think that trans men are trying to perpetrate or try to be like straight men. No, they're trying to be their own men. See, be their own individual man. They're not trying to be like a straight man or act like the straight world. They're just trying to be their own selves and walk through the world in their own way. Now, people like you always got something to say. And then you sit up here and you are using pictures to broadcast your blogs, which to me, that is... um. That is actually, you can go, you can actually get your whole block site taken off. And you're invading the privacy. Not only are you invading the privacy, you're putting personal information up, which means you can have charges pressed against you by the FBI. Because if the person, the pictures that you are taking and snatching off their pages, I would press charges if you use mine. And I will press it to the fullest maximum because I never gave you any authorization to pull any pictures off. Which means my and all my pictures are copyrighted. And it, and I think that most of the people's information and stuff is copyrighted. So that means if they think about pressing any freaking charges, they can. I will put the website down there. You need to all go see this blog site, a white boy, and you need to report it. Peace.